Hey RD fam, it's Rita. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, definitely make sure you're clicking that subscribe button, liking this video, maybe leaving a comment down below and turning on your post notifications so you'll never miss another upload from your girl, which is me, period. So I am going to finally be showing you guys how to edit in Photoshop. I know it's so long awaited, so I definitely want to get this video out for you guys, okay? Because y'all have been harassing me. No, I'm kidding. But um, I felt so bad because somebody actually asked me in like October, y'all. October. What, we're about to be in 2021 um, to do this. And I said I was going to do it and I never got around to it. But I finally am. So basically, um, I'm going to show you guys how to edit with this new sim that I created today. Actually, you guys can obviously see the date. Um, so I'm going to use this picture just because this picture is mad freaking cute. Um, so I'm just going to um copy and then i guess paste it because i don't want to take this photo because i need that photo the original one and this is just obviously in my well i'm not i'm not gonna say obviously this is in my um electronics the sims 4 and then in the screenshots folder if you guys are confused how to get to your screenshots that you take in game this is a creative sim screenshot so as you guys can see the creative sim photo is on my desktop and you guys saw how i got it i literally just copy and pasted it right here so then we're going to open Photoshop. I showed you guys how to download Photoshop. How I opened it is I, I showed you guys this, but I'll link it down below. You click the folder and then it's literally right here. Okay. So yeah, now I'm in Photoshop. I got this completely free and then I'm going to open it. I'm just going to open the file that I pasted. So then I'm just going to go over here to the left and go to the crop tool and I'm just going to crop it um, to like the amount that I want and normally I edit silently so this is kind of weird for me honestly and then I'm gonna go down here it might be different for you but mine ended up down here because I recently deleted it from up here so just remember that but it's it's the same thing so you're just gonna go down here to brightness and contrast and just put it up to the amount of your sim so like the skin tone so it doesn't look too bad I don't know why that just did that but I like to put it to at least 30 um, if you have a darker sim just play around with it and see how it looks um, and then I put the contrast literally minus 10 of the brightness but again just play around and see what looks best you can always do minus 15 of the brightness I think that's what I'm gonna do because that looks better she doesn't look as like bronzed so yeah and then you're gonna go to filter and you're gonna go to sharpen and you're gonna do smart sharpen and then I put it at 100. You do not have to put it at 100. You could do it to literally whatever you want to do. Okay. Then you're going to go to layer, new, um, layer from background or layer. I'm just going to do layer. Um, and I'm not even going to name it. But actually, no, I'm going to name it because sometimes I do. I'm going to um, call this shadows. And what I do for that is I go to the paint tool right here. And then over here, I go to um black you can do whatever color you want to do but i like to do black and then um i change the like the the um intensity of it and i'm just going to use a soft round pressure size and then you don't have to even do this um you don't even have to do this like ew i don't like how this is looking just play around with it and see which one looks the best, but whatever. Um, just play around with it and see which one that you like. You don't. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Um, and if it doesn't look right, then you can always just delete it. It's not that serious. And then I'm going to um, put that down as well and just go over her um, collarbone. And you guys will see what this does. It's harder because I'm talking and normally I'm, I'm silent. So then I'm going to go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And then you're going to blur it like eight. And honestly, with this process, you literally just have to trust the process. So I'm going to bring down the opacity and then um, that's what it's giving. It's giving very much shadows. And then um, I'm going to do brightness as the new layer. So I'm going to rename it as brightness. And then you're going to go back to the paint tool and then you're going to go back to your colors. You're going to choose white. And then I'm just going to bring it up to about 152 so it covers her whole entire body. And then I'm just going to go like that. And then like this. And then like that. And then don't do her face though. 
it your Gaussian blur already should be saved um, right here the same thing that I did for the shadows I'm gonna put this over the shadow so that the shadows still um, pop out then you're gonna go to overlay and then you're gonna bring down the opacity so you see how it's looking then you're gonna go to background you guys I hope I'm not talking too quick I'm just trying to rush and get this video done because I have so many other videos to do so I apologize so you're gonna go to layer new again so we're gonna do face brightness okay and then you're going to take your paint tool. You already have white selected, so just remember that. And then um, I'm going to go where she already has um, her brightness done, okay? So I'm just going over the brightness that's already there. Um, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And then, again, your Gaussian Blur is already done for you. You're just going to go to Overlay, and then you're going to bring down your opacity, you guys, okay? That's what it's looking like. It looks like makeup. And you can always bring it down more if, because her face brightness was already pretty bright. Um, so, yeah, you can just bring it down to your liking. It doesn't even have to be like, you know, like crazy bright or anything like that. So, now this is my favorite part. I don't know if I should do it now. I'm going to do it last. I'm going to do it last. So, this is the next part, you guys. You're going to do contour, okay? So, you're going to do contour I don't even know if that's how you spell it but whatever and then you're gonna do this brown shade um, because you know she's already pretty uh, light but with my darker skin sims I like to do black same way I did her shadows and then just bring it down I might do another um one of these with a dark skin sim so that you guys can see but yeah so you're just gonna go you're gonna even I don't know how I want to do this I think I'm just gonna do this around her forehead like that yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then do Gaussian Blur. And then just bring it down. It doesn't even have to be, like, perfect, y'all. Like, it literally does not. And then I'm going to go to the background layer, okay? And then you're going to go to the Dodge Tool. And I like to just see which one is the highlight and which one is the darker one. So the highlight is the Dodge Tool. I'm just going to go over her nose highlight. You have to make sure background is selected too. I'm just going to go over her nose highlight and just make it brighter. And then I'm going to go to the burn tool, which is the contour one, okay? And then you're just going to go down her nose and just contour it like that. And then you can go over the contour and just, you know, make anything darker like that. And then what do I want to do next? I'm going to go back to the Dodge tool and I'm going to go over her eye makeup and just make it brighter. And then I'm going to go to the Sharpen tool and just brighten her eyes and the eye makeup, okay? Now, this is my favorite part. You're going to do layer, new layer, and you're going to do eyes, okay? So this is important, so just listen, I guess. So um, we're going to go back to Dodge tool, which makes everything brighter. You're going to brighten her eyes, okay? Then you're going to go, we have our eyes layer. You're going to go to the paint tool, and then you're going to go to the black. And then you're going to make it really, really small, okay? Like, bring it all the way down and zoom in. You need to make it even smaller. And then you're going to just do a line. Like that. And then like that. And then you're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then you're going to put that at, like, 2, okay? And then you're just going to... Do it to your liking. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to go here and just kind of like sharpen her lips. I don't really like the lip area. It's giving me like weird vibes, but that's just a lipstick. Um, so yeah, now that you have all this done, this is pretty much what I do, but I'm going to do a little bit of something. So I'm going to do noise and um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to flatten this image. So it just removes, it doesn't remove everything, it just flattens it so you don't see all that anymore okay so then um i'm gonna go back and i'm just gonna sharpen her eyebrows a little bit because i want them to be more you know like boom then i'm gonna go to noise and i'm going to add some noise to the photo which is just like this it just adds like a texture to the photo so i'm gonna do about four and then what i'm gonna do also is go to um i forget where it is um render lens flare so since we can see her earring, um, we're going to add a lens flare at her earring, like about there. And you can like choose different ones. It just does something to the picture, honestly. Ugh, it's not even placed right. Like I wish I could just, okay, thank you for that. Thank you. Okay. So um, I'm going to just undo it. I, I don't know how to like blend in, like how to 
zoom in to do the lens flare, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do another one and just try to get like right on it. That's close enough. So I'm going to do undo and then I'm going to go to lens flare again and place it down and then bring down the brightness. And there's like another way to do that as well. You can go to fade lens flare and look like you can actually see yourself like fading it. But I think I'm going to keep it bright. So yeah, that's it. And I'm going to um, end this part here. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys think down below.